developing news tonight. During the Prime Minister's weekly press briefing earlier today, the Education Minister, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, announced that the new criteria for the National High School Diploma is almost complete. She also provided details on the next steps towards finalizing the new requirements. Last year, Education Minister the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin made a significant announcement that a commission was established to review the Bahamas High School Diploma. Following this, the committee commenced its consultative process and committed to holding a series of town hall meetings across the country. The goal of these meetings was to gather input and ideas from stakeholders, students, and educators on ways to improve the criteria for the National High School Diploma. They comprise a multi-disciplinary um, grouping some educators, some are corporate um, persons, and you know, just the whole array of individuals who form this committee. And they have made recommendations. And I think uh, I have to go back to cabinet on one issue, but I believe that I will be able to shortly announce the, the variations or reforms that we will be implementing for the high school diploma. Today, Hannah Martin provided an update on the progress of the commission's work, stating that the groundwork has been completed. She also indicated that the unveiling of the new criteria for the high school diploma is imminent. This announcement has been highly anticipated by many stakeholders in the education sector, including parents and students. We know that there were anomalies we know that it led to marginalization of, of, of many young people. And we also know that, um, you know, the way that not every, that education has a much broader spectrum than a purely academic um, spectrum. And so we're looking at the range of learning without reducing standards. So to answer your question, the work is complete. Um, and we expect to announce within the, in the next few days the final um, construct of the new high school diploma which I believe will um, incentivize young people to excel and do well, which is what we hope to do. The education minister also addressed questions regarding the morale of teachers across the country. The issue of teacher morale is a global one. Um, there are teacher shortages globally. Uh, they, this is experienced in the United States, which is one of the biggest economies in the world, and, def and certainly in the region. We have um, put in place some initiatives to try and accelerate the training of teachers. And we've also had to bring in teachers from outside of the Bahamas to fill gaps. But on the, so teacher morale is an issue globally.